welcome back to a vlog i think this might be like just a few days vlog i'm, I'm kind of over the whole structure of the vlog like a day in my life week in my life like yeah i'll do those still but like sometimes i just want to pick up the camera and like vlog when i want to vlog some days i may not want to some days i will so i'm gonna start a vlog um so welcome to our channel i just filmed a sephora haul slash sephora favorites must have my beauty secrets they're doing an event a spring saving event where they're like huge huge savings opportunity and i got all this like really cool new stuff i'll probably try some products out in this vlog went ahead and filmed that and i'm just gonna throw on some music honestly and clean up my apartment so my house is a freaking disaster i'm not settled yet i don't have any furniture it's so frustrating let me show you guys this is so embarrassing but you know this is like my little filming area for right now because i don't have a chair i need to put that away i have been doing some laundry so i have laundry here i'm gonna finish that up in a second all this stuff here like that needs to go somewhere i don't know where that's gonna go yet this stuff is going to my mom's house this is like my office stuff my living room is a freaking disaster so my mom gave me a puzzle it's actually a cool story my papa d which is my mom's dad used to do puzzles all the time she saved this one from his house when he had passed away and it's a new york puzzle and my dad and i used to do puzzles all the time too so i was like this is perfect it has like the twin towers on here so i just started kind of doing that but she sent that over to me with some of the remaining clothes that i had over at her house and she's like so sweet she's like check the pocket and she sent me this with the clothes that was in my pocket it's like a little charm that says love you more and it just made me so happy so yeah i have the puzzle there all of my makeup and stuff this is like how i'm getting ready right now just because my outlet doesn't work in my bathroom and i'm not gonna have the maintenance guy come fix it because i'm just gonna wait till the corona thing's over so i have to like get ready here all my sephora stuff is here i'm just gonna leave that in a pile until the video is approved this stuff i need to clean up this stuff needs to go into a storage unit that i actually bought on amazon so this is just all waiting these boxes need to go to the trash this stuff here i have no idea what i'm doing with yet it's just like a lot of shit as of right now i'm probably just gonna like jam out to some music drink a celsius and clean or at least try to like reorganize in like a better way because right now it just looks like clutter <laughs> some progress on my puzzle i put all the pieces too right there so even though i cleaned i threw the puzzle here so i mean whatever Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. Today I'm just doing some editing. I have my multitasking. I have a video that I'm gonna be editing for Sephora. I was watching Dr. Mike, got me some Cheez-Its, and I'm watching That's So Raven. I um, woke up this morning in a really good mood, opened my blinds, and opened up all my windows and let like the cool fresh air come in. I worked on my puzzle. Last night was really cozy because I like I was like in bed by six or seven and they had that world global citizen live on YouTube with all of the artists and I watched that for a few hours. I think there was like 19 million people who watched it so it's really cool to see like the whole world kind of just coming together and it was like almost like a giant concert but it was also like a benefit to raise awareness. Lizzo was on there, Billy was on there and it was just like a really cool thing that I really really enjoyed last night. So um, this morning I'm probably just going to be editing 
editing and finishing up this video this might take me a few hours and then i want to do a little bit of sunday planning i was thinking about it last night but i think something to keep me level-headed in this time period is to stick to a routine and to be held accountable for certain things you know like i've been through the whole like doing nothing taking it slow but like now it's like time to keep living my life even though we're on hold for right now because i think that's where my head is getting a little bit like stressed so i think sticking to routine and living my life as if like nothing's happening will be like best so i'm going to prep my week and i'll show you guys like how i do that um but in the meantime i'm just gonna go ahead and finish up this video and send it out to sephora for approval but yeah i'm feeling really good <laughs> While my video is transporting, I am eating the rest of my kale quinoa salad from the Smith. It is so yummy. I'm not a huge fan of kale, but the dressing that they have, it's a Dijon vinaigrette. Makes it taste so good. And then it has like toasted almonds. I think this is dill. I don't know. Um, but also some cranberries. And it's really yummy and there's kale and quinoa and then i'm gonna have my supplements so i take a magnesium to reduce stress and then i take l carotene keratin i don't know how to pronounce it but it basically transfers your food over to energy so it helps with like digestion and stuff like that and energy levels and then i take two multivitamins and two elderberry gummies for immunity and then I'm probably gonna eat some of these cookies after they kind of remind me of the chips ahoy which remind me of my dad he would like always eat the chips ahoy chocolate chunk and he always had at least two packages in his pantry because he was like a sucker for if you guys are from florida or the south our grocery store is called Publix, and they have a lot of like bogos and so he always fell for them and that's just like a really good memory i have of my dad is like we would always eat chips ahoy chocolate chip cookies together so I've been eating those and it just like reminds me of him. But they're like a healthier option. So I'm just gonna eat this. And um, I have the video done, but now I just have to transfer it over to YouTube, do the description box, add the end screens, the eye cards, and then the thumbnail I have to do. And then I have to send that over to Sephora to get that approved. I think that'll take a few more hours. And then I wanna try out some of the Sephora makeup. But for right now, I'm just gonna eat and relax. So I've been working real hard. Cheers. <laughs> video is officially done i filmed a sephora favorites because they sponsored a video for their spring savings event which is like this huge deal that they do twice a year they do one for the holidays and one for springtime it's kind of like bath and body works like you know how they do their big annual sale and then it's like mid-year and then at the end of the year it's kind of the same thing i don't know if that video is going to go out before or after this video but i got a whole bunch of stuff from them i've tried pretty much everything um but there are a few products that i haven't tried that i want to just try on camera with you guys first thing i want to try is the fenty beauty matchsticks trios i got this one in light these are the colors and i've heard really good things about this i remember when fenty first came out these were like the thing that everyone was getting so they're like these magnetic pieces it's a trio so there's a bronze i think let's see there's a concealer contour and a highlighter i'm assuming this light one linen is the concealer just to try it i like it because it's a stick it's oh shit i think i'm putting on the highlighter no i'm putting on the okay <gasps> i don't typically wear concealer anymore if you guys want to or want me to i can do like a full makeup routine for you guys a few things have changed and i made it very simplistic Ooh, it's super creamy it feels good i'm just using my fingers i'm not supposed to do that but whatever i like already it definitely made my under eyes very bright now let's do the contouring i don't know how to contour so i don't know who the fuck i think i am but i'm assuming it's kind of like bronzer tell me if i'm doing this wrong i feel like oh i don't know what i'm doing i look like i'm about to go get some plastic surgery done this one i do want to use my beauty blender for it's a little bit dark hmm. i probably should have like looked up a tutorial on how to do this before <laughs> I did it, but whatever. 
I do like that it is creamy. Makes it look like very moisturizing. Did that make a difference? Did I do that correctly? You can definitely see my cheekbone. Now let's do this highlighter. This is what I'm most excited about. So this one's in Starstruck. And then that contouring was Amber. Let's do a swatch. Let's be a Jeffree Star. Ooh, girl. Girl. Ooh, girl. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna put some of the Amber on my eyelids. And then I'm gonna put some of the highlighter on the inner part of my eyelid. And then underneath my eyebrow. Here we go. All right, next product that we're gonna try out, super highly rated, it's the Bite Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. And this is the color Leche, Leche, I don't know. Ooh, I kinda like this. Ooh. So my lips are kind of chapped right now, so just ignore right here. I really like the color. I like it. So those are the products that I wanted to try. I'll pop them down below if you guys are interested in them. Those are my newbies. I have a few other newbies, um, but you guys gotta watch the video to see which ones I ended up like loving. Yeah, if you guys want me to, I can do like a full updated, like everyday makeup routine. I think that'd be really fun and interesting. I just did my weekly planning, things that I want to do daily, like things to hold me accountable. Um, and then I also plan my workouts. I'll show you guys. So I'm writing in my environmentally friendly journal. I talked about this in my last video, but basically you can write on this and then you can erase like this. So it's cool. Um, I can like just keep reusing this and it also has like post-it notes that I can do the same thing with. So like, go like that, do this. I'll probably use my post-it notes for more of like daily to-dos. So in terms of like work or just like little things that I need to get done. But as of right now, I just did my overview for the week. I wrote down all of the day's weather forecast because I feel like that definitely plays a part in my workout schedule because I've started incorporating running back into my routine and I'm doing a running program on RunKeeper. So it's like a training app and it walks you through and you have like specific workouts to get me to a 5k, but they have like other ones too. You can do like, you know, marathons, half marathons, all that stuff. So I'm trying to do a 5k and it's really nice because again, I it gives me something to like have accountability for. So it's really easy for the days to kind of blend in and stuff. So when I have a goal in mind or something that I need to accomplish or something to do, it just like puts me in a more routine state mind, which is really important for days like this, the quarantine days. So basically wrote down all of this. I like to run outside. Obviously I can't use my gym. So the days that I need to run are going to be the days that aren't raining. Now I wanted to run twice a week. I wanted to do cardio once a week, an at-home cardio workout. And then I need to get my abs and legs in. And then I wanted to do two yoga sessions, which basically are like a lot of back and arms for me, but also like full body and stretching and flexibility and meditation. So I feel like that's a really good workout overview for the week. It'll like make me feel really good. Monday is gonna be an overcast day. So I'm gonna go for a run. I'm on my second training workout on Run Keeper, so I'm excited about that. Tuesday's gonna be raining, so I'm just gonna be doing abs and legs here in the house. Wednesday, it's gonna be pretty sunny, so again, I'm gonna go for a run. Thursday, it's gonna be rainy, so I'm gonna do some yoga. Friday, it's gonna be raining, so I'm gonna be doing a cardio session, probably like a YouTube video. I've been really liking Natasha. Ugh, I forgot her name, but I'll pop it on the screen. And then Saturday, I'm gonna have an off day, like a rest day. It's really sunny, so I might go for like a really long walk or something. Sunday's gonna be rainy again, so I'm gonna do my yoga then. And I have like a list of to-dos that I need to get done. And then daily things that I want to hold myself accountable for are taking my vitamins, which I pretty much do every single day, my vitamins and supplements. I got BCAAs for working out, but I haven't been using them consistently. You take some before and after your workout and it helps with like muscle recovery and soreness in your muscles and just like overall fitness performance. Take them before and after workouts and see if it makes a difference. And then I wanna go for a walk as much as possible, like at least one walk outside. Think it's really important for my mental health whenever I get out. It like definitely puts me in a better mood.
mood. Obviously for the rainy days, I'm not gonna be able to do that, but I'll try my best. And then reading. I've been kind of slacking on my reading. The book that I'm reading now is Civilized to Death. It's a nonfiction book. I read a little bit this morning and I found it like super interesting. I'm on page 52. It is interesting, but I find myself not being able to read like nonfiction books thoroughly through. Like if I got a fiction book, I can literally read for hours. So it's just really important when I'm reading my nonfiction books to like get that in. That's my little Sunday prep. I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of work for this week, but when I do, obviously I'll probably just add another page of things that I need to get done, like video ideas and stuff. I think right now what I'm gonna do is just listen to some music, probably put on That's So Raven. I've been loving that show right now. Um, and then kind of just give myself like a computer cleanse i have a lot of just notes and stuff written down and things that i started but i need to just kind of like organize sometimes when i have like things in my head or video ideas or something like that i'll just like throw a whole bunch of like words and ideas but i need to like organize them and maybe see if i can come up with any videos that i want to film for this week i think i will be vlogging mostly and yeah that's the rest of the plan for my Sunday. All right, guys. Oh, hold on. I gotta make this quick. Um, my cousin just called me, but I, I'm taking off my makeup and in my skincare or my Sephora favorites video, I was gonna show you guys how I took off my makeup with one product, the Green Clean Pharmacy Makeup Meltaway Balm. I've talked about this before in my videos. It's just like a balm, but I wanna show you guys exactly how I do it. So I will do like that much. And this is literally all you need. If you're super lazy and you don't feel like doing a whole skincare, take off all your makeup. You just rub it on your face like this. You don't have to like tug at your face. It's super gentle. And I just take all my makeup off like this. And just melt your makeup off. I'm gonna do my eyes for my mascara. And then I take a warm washcloth. Rub the remaining excess off of my face pat dry you don't even need moisturizer because it's a balm so you already have like moisture on your face like you don't feel focus come on um it doesn't feel dry or anything all my makeup is off i'll pop it down below for you guys if you guys want to get it i gotta go facetime but yeah thought i'd share that with you guys be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a